Spirit of Texas Bank, Nissan, Slovacek Sausage, and Germania Insurance bring you this clip of the Texas Bucket List. Howdy, and welcome to the Texas Bucket List, the show dedicated to everything there is to see, do, and experience right here in the Lone Star State. My name is Shane McAuliffe, and this week we start things off by checking off a museum that every Texan with Czech heritage will want to check out. You see, across the Lone Star State, we have Bohemians and Moravians that are very proud of their culture. That's why when I say Jacques et Mas, they know what I mean. There's something about the smell of fresh, warm kolaches. They're a central Texas tradition and hard to find when you leave the Lone Star State. But just where did this warm, gooey goodness come from? Across the pond, of course, in a place that many Texans can trace their ancestral ties, the Czech Republic. If you drive around Temple in the area, you'll see a lot of signs um, with names with no vowels. Those are Czech names. <laughs> Susan Chandler helps folks from around the state learn about the Czech culture of Texas at a museum dedicated to it, the Czech Heritage Museum and Genealogy Center in Temple. So you're telling me that Czechs do more than just drink beer and dance to polka? Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. And people need to find out what else there is to know. <laughs> With over 30,000 artifacts, the museum honors the early immigrants who gambled on Texas. They left a very rich culture. They were literate. They were, you know, a lot of them were musicians, you know, classically trained, and they're classically trained artists, architects, those kind of things. They came over here to this, this hot, dry, bald, you know, Texas and, and, you know, hard scrabble life and dug a life out of it. The first Czech immigrants arrived in Texas in the mid 1800s, with the majority of them making Fayette County their new home. This map shows how Texas relates to uh, Czechoslovakia. So this is both Czech Republic and Slovakia wow. on there where uh, most of the people came from. And uh, this is the Frenstedt region. This is kind of the areas where most of the people in Texas came from. Those people had such extreme hardship to leave family, to come to a, to a more prosperous place, hopefully for that dream, like immigrants do still today. Kenny Lang also works at the museum, and his expertise centers around some of the artifacts that embody Czech culture. This great collection of marionettes we have here date back to 1875. It's a wow. great example of uh, old world craftsmanship, old world art. From traditional Czech clothing called Kroy to a look at the official Czech health and wellness program called Sokol. The museum covers aspects of Czech culture that many haven't stretched out their minds to. And when it comes to the Czech language, well, you might just hear a more authentic version in these parts. The Czechs that came here brought the dialect of the Moravian area. So that dialect was preserved here. And in fact, it's better preserved here than it was in the Czech Republic. Well, my favorite thing here in the museum is this 1500s Bible. Wow, 1500s. Mm -hmm. This Bible was given to us by the Frank Parma family. And it's written in a, uh, a dialect of the Czech language that is no longer, it's archaic. Mm -hmm. The family that brought it here brought it when it was 300 years old. Mm -hmm. Now it's quite a bit older. They brought it in the 1800s and um, they preserved it in, in a, that box right there. Of course, in Europe, that's probably still on the library shelf. <laughs> yeah. Ready to be checked out. Right. <laughs> but there is one thing that Czechs do better than anybody in the world drinking pivo. Each year, one person consumes 156 liters of it in the Czech Republic. That's about 39 12 packs. On top of that, there's the Slivovitz, a plum brandy that's very popular in these parts. Hence the reason there's a mock bar at the museum complete with drinking games. We're okay with drinking beer. I'll just put it, I'll put it gently. I guess this is your round? Uh, uh... <laughs> yes, it's on me. <laughs> the Czech culture and way of life is well preserved in Central Texas, thanks to the pride of the people who pass along their customs through the generations. It may be through dialect, over a sip of Slivovitz, or simply through a hot kolache. Either way, the Czech people of the Lone Star State are part of the lifeblood that runs through the heart of Texas. The country of the Czech Republic is so small. And, and unique 
that to have a large number of people from there right here in Texas and to have the culture so well preserved here is really interesting and, and so that makes it a, a very important fabric of the, our Texas tapestry.